We continue now at the top of Daf Mem Zayin Amar Aleph and Masechah Sukkah. This is Sukkah Daf Forty Seven A. And the previous summer there was a Machlokas Amoraim. What do you do in Chutz Laaretz on Shmini Atzeres when you're not sure if it's the seventh day of Sukkah or if it's the eighth day of Sukkah? And so the Gemara said that all Amoraim agree that you certainly sit in the Sukkah. The only question is Levruche. Do you actually make the bracha of Leishev Basukkah? Leman Damar Shvi Lesukkah. According to the one who says it's considered the seventh day, so Bruchi Nami Mevarchin and you also make the bracha. Leman Damar Shmini Lazev Lazev. The one who says it's considered like the eighth day, so Bruchi so you don't make the bracha of Leishev Basukah. And the Gemara continues, Amar of Yosef, Rav Yosef says, Nakat Rav Yochanan biyadach. You should take as the opinion that we follow the opinion of Rav Yochanan that you do not make the bracha of Leishev Basukah and Shmini Atzeres and Chutzlarts. The Rav Huna Bar Bizna v'chol Gadolei Hador iklu Basukah b'Shmini Safek Shvi because Rav Huna Bar Bizna and all the Gadolei Hador they went into the Sukkah and, and the Shmini Atzeres and Chutzlarts Mesiv have a Yasvi and they sat in the Sukkah Baruchay lo Brichay but they did not make the bracha of Leishev Basukah. So the Gemara says, V'dil Masvir lo kaman damar kem in shaberach yom tov rishon shovei namavarech. But maybe they hold like the opinion that once you make the bracha on the first day of yom tov, you only make it once. You don't make the bracha again. So maybe the reason they didn't make a bracha had nothing to do with the fact that it was shmini atzeres and chutzlarts. It was simply because they already made the bracha on the first day. And so the Gemara says, Gemiri no, it was, it was learned that they may a for us, so that they had come from the fields. In other words, they had come from the fields, and they actually, this was the first time they were sitting in the sukkah and the yontav of sukkahs. And so therefore, it is a proof that indeed you don't make the bracha and shmini atzeres in chutzlarts. Ika diyami, there are those who have a different version of this discussion. Baruchei kuli alma lo pligi delome varchinan. All Amoraim actually agree, actually agree that you do not make the bracha of Leishe Basukah and Shemini Atzeret and Chutz Laaretz. Ki pligi lemesav, and the real Machlokas Amoraim was, do you sit in the sukkah? Laman Dama Ar Shiva Lesukah, according to the one who says it's considered like the seventh day, Mesav Yasvinan, so then you sit in the sukkah. Laman Dama Ar Shmini Lazev Lazen, the one who says it's considered like the eighth day, Mesav Nami Lo Yasvinan, you don't even sit in the sukkah. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef says, Nakut Rav Yochanan biyadach. You should follow the opinion of Rav Yochanan. Demar Dishmait the money, because who's the one who quoted this whole teaching? Rav Yehuda Bered, Rav Shmo Bar Shilas. It was Rav Yehuda, the son of Rav Shmo Bar Shilas. Uvishmini, Safek Shvi, Levar Misoka Yosef. And again, on Shmini, at Saras and Chutzlaretz, he actually sat outside of the sukkah. Rashi over here says, Demara Dishmaita Mani Ravuda Braider of Shmuel, the Iu Amar Mishme Darav. He's the one that quoted Rav's opinion, the Chazina Le Delove Kishmaite. And we see that he didn't even follow Rav. He actually followed Rabbi Yochanan. Again, what did he do? He did not even sit in the Sukkah. And therefore, you see, like Rabbi Yochanan. And the Gemara continues, Vihilcha, so what is the final halacha? Mesa Yasvin, and we do sit in the Sukkah and Shmini Atzeres and Chutzlar, it's Baruch Elome Varchinam, but we do not make the bracha of Leishe Basukah. And the Gemara continues, Amr of Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Omrim Zman Bishmini Shalchag. We say Zman, we say Shachiyonu and Shmini Atzeres, Vien Omrim Zman Bishvi Shal Pesach, but on the seventh day of Pesach, you don't say Shachiyonu. In other words, the seventh day of Pesach is not like its own Yontif, but Shmini Atzeres, that's already like its own Yontif, so you say Shachiyonu. And the Gemara continues, Vamar of Levi Bar Chama Vitema Reb Chama Bar Chanina. And Reb Levi Bar Chama says, and some people say it was Reb Chama Bar Chanina who says, Teida, you should know, Sharei Cholok Begimel Devarim. There are three ways that Shmini Atzeres is distinct from the from the rest of Sukkot. Besukkah, Velula, Venisach Hamayim. It's distinct in that you don't sit in the Sukkah on Shmini Atzeres, you don't have Lulav on Shmini Atzeres, and you don't have Nisach Hamayim on Shmini Atzeres. You don't have the water libation. Now, according to Rabbi Yudu, who says, actually, there was Nisach HaMayim on Shemini Atzeres. For all eight days, they did Nisach HaMayim, and they did it with one lug of water. But still, there's a distinction in two ways. Rashi over here says, Even Rabbi Yehuda, who says that you do Nisach HaMayim all eight days, Rabbi Yehuda is actually arguing on two points. Kama says Nisach HaMayim is actually three lug every day. V'iyu Amar B'chol Yom Lug. He says every day is just a lug. The Kama Tanakama Shiva, the Tanakama says that the Nisach HaMayim is only seven days of Sukkot. V'lo Shmini, it's not on the eighth day. V'hu Amar Kol Ches. He says it's all eight days of Sukkot. And the Gemara continues, Yihachi, if so, Shvi shall Pesach Nami. When it comes to the seventh day of Pesach as well, Arei Cholok Bachilas Matzah. Isn't there a distinction in terms of the obligation to eat Matzah? Do Yomar Mar, because the Master said, Laila Rishon Achova, only the first night is an obligation to eat Matzah, Mikan Voyelach Rishos. From then on, it's just voluntary. 
So the Gemara says, Hachi Ashta, what kind of comparison are you making? Hasam over there, Milayla Cholok, Miyomeno Cholok. It's from the night, from the first night there's a distinction, but the first day, it's not distinct at all. Once the daytime comes of the first day, already it's exactly the same as all the other days. And it's exactly the same as the seventh day. Hacha Afilu Miyom Nami Cholok. Here's the, there's a distinction, even from the actual day, the eighth day of Sukkot is completely unlike the previous days, not just the nights, even the previous days. And Ravina, Ravina says further, Zech Cholok Mishalafonov, Zech Cholok when it comes to the situation of Shmini Atzeres, that's different than the day right before it. But when it comes to the seventh day of Pesach, that's exactly the same as the sixth, the fifth, the fourth. It's only different than the first night. Rav Papa, Rav Papa says, par, hasam parim. Over here by Shmini Atzeres, it says par, meaning you only bring one bull as a carbon. By all the other ones, you bring multiple bulls. It's clearly distinct from the other days. Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak Omer, Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak says, Hocha ksiv bayom, hasam ksiv uvayom. By Shmini Atzeret it says bayom, on the eighth day, without the vav, without the connecting vav, which clearly implies that it's distinct. By all the other days, it says uvayom, implying that they're all connected, they're all similar. Rav Ashi Omer, Rav Ashi says, Hocha ksiv, over here by Shmini Atzeret it says, kimishpat, it says like its laws. Hasam over there, by all the other days, ksiv kimishpatam, it says again in plural, like all of their laws, again grouping together the first seven days of Sukkot, showing that the eighth day is considered distinct. And the Gemara continues, let's say a support for this idea of Rabbi Yochanan, that you have to say Shechayonu on Shmini Atzeres. It says in the Braisa, When it comes to all the Karbonus you bring on Sukkot, the bulls and the rams and the sheep, they're all Ma'akiv each other. You have to bring them all, otherwise you don't fulfill the obligation. For Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, When it comes to the bulls, they're not Ma'akiv each other. Because anyway, you bring a different amount every day, there's less brought every day, so you see the Torah is not so so strong strict, so careful about the exact number. So Amrulo, so they said to him, Vailo Kulon, Mismat and Volchem Bishmini, don't all the carbonos go down in number on the eighth day? So therefore the fact that it goes down in number is irrelevant. So Amar Lohen, so he said back to them, Shmini Regal Bifnei Atzmahu, Shmini is its own holiday. Shmini Atzeres is an independent holiday. Shekashem Shashivas Yimei Achag, Tu'unen Karbon, Vishir, Ubrocha, Velina, just like all the seven days of Sukkot, they require a carbon, they require a song, they require a brocha, and they require you to stay over night after the holiday, Av Shmini, so to the eighth, it's like its own holiday, Ta'un Karban Vishir Ubracha Velina, it requires a carbon, it requires a song, it requires a bracha, and it requires you to stay overnight. And Rashi over here explains, Tun and Karbanos Liatzmo, and Avzeh, Karban Liatzmo, they have their own Karbanos, and the eighth day has its own Karban, Ve'eno Miseder Acherim, it's not part of the same order as the rest of the days. Shir, Shalavim Omrim Bekarbanos, the Levim used to say a song by the Karbanos, again, Shmini Eino Miseder, Shir Hachag, the, on the eighth day, the song that we sing is not part of the same order as all of the other ones. Uh, what's bracha? The Gemara is going to explain exactly what bracha is. It's a halacha. You're supposed to stay overnight on the matzah yontav rishon on the end, right after the night, right after the first uh, the first day of yontav. You're supposed to stay over in Yerushalayim. And again, the same thing applies on Shmini Atzeres. We'll continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Mem Zayin Amud Beis.